And we have another siege. And the house again. And they are dropping in pods. Alright, so I have to hide Collins again. To the crypt, Collins. Uh, they are coming from north. Yes. Yep. Let's see. Oh, vampires. Okay, this is Dracula, I think. It doesn't say, but his name is Jet. <laughs> and Hiltunen. This one is some crazy bastard. Powerful vampire here. Dustin is 8th generation vampire. Okay, so Dustin is going suicide. But you know what? It's daytime. So they're gonna burn. Vampires arrived. You guys gonna burn? Dustin. <laughs> Dustin is burning. That's some bad timing, dude. To attack. Oops. Okay, Gwen is here. Artie is here. Dustin is burning. This one is burning too. <laughs> so, there you go. Oh, he dug himself. And what? Hiltunen is... You got nice weapon, sir. What you got? Assault rifle. Assault rifle and jet is burning also. Dug himself and this one is dead. Oh crap. Oh. What's... Uh oh. So mortar, okay. Thousands of years after the V-War, there was, living in a small village, a young engineer named Guinever. Gwen, they called her. She's just received her new prosthetic arm, for she's lost her own in an explosion, which also made her lose her parents. Gwen was a bright spot among her people, smart, skilled, pretty, but somehow clumsy as she could trip or drop herself or something all of a sudden. Extremely bonded to her village, helping people with all kinds of broken devices, making new ones and designing life-helping inventions, the girl made her home quite advanced technologically, yet scrappy looking. Gwen sometimes was taking offers of little jobs here and there in the nearby city. Most of the time though, she stayed in the village. On the day that changed Gwen's life forever, she was packing up to take the road to the city to run a couple errands and get her arm adjusted. Sudden earthquake shook the ground. All the people in the village froze in fear. It's okay everyone, it's just miners nearby blowing up the mountain. Voice of the village mayor broke the silence. Get back to your things, no need to be concerned. The mayor walked up to Gwen and added, they might find rare resources and our village gets 7% of everything they find. So, you'll have something to work with, young lady. Gwen smiled, throwing her backpack on her shoulder. That's great, Mr. Mayor. I hope they find something special for me. Collins, damn it, you are idiot. Go back. Whoa. Okay, they're firing. I have to stay. This is bad. The same earthquake shook the cave deep inside the mountain. The one containing coffin and couple vials with blood, which broke and spilled on the wooden lid. Strips of red fluid followed the carvings made on the bottom up to the part where Josephine's head was resting inside. The drops of blood, one by one, started to fill her lips until it was enough to spill through the mouth. The eyes opened, the lungs took a deep breath, the heart 
went back to its pounding. The queen was awoken. Josephine sat in the coffin and looked around. Strange, neon-like lights installed in walls, blood vials reacting on movement to spill in the coffin. It wasn't long when she recognized her brother's hand in it. He was always so wary and caring. One thing the eyes of the vampires couldn't see, and it created disturbing question in her head. Where is the exit? This one I will have to redesign. Yes, okay, Josie, wake up, open, open, so I don't waste time. Okay, we have to survive this bullet. Oh, damn it. Put down the fire. That was weird. Oops, Gwen got shot. Okay, Josie, like... You guys running? You guys running nowhere. No, 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 you guys running nowhere, I said. You are running nowhere, Missy. All right, so they are done here. Ah, shh. It blew up, damn it. This is this one disadvantage that vampires cannot attack back when it's daytime. All right, at least we got power back. And now I have to redesign everything. Fix it. And fix it. Look at this, cargo pods with blood packs. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, this is this is good news. So I have to really fast hold it to here. And we have another refugee, which is, of course, welcomed in our settlements, campsite, whatever. Bob. <laughs> Well, okay. Offer safety. Whoa, Bob is a vampire. Now, this is something I don't necessarily want. I don't want another vampire. Ugly looking like this. And he's no use for me. I need people. I don't need another mouth and another fangs to hit to feed. You gonna still attack me? I don't think so. Well, I'm guessing that it was some kind of um, tribe or s settlement people, village people, uh, and Bob attacked them. Well, bye Bob. Be careful next time. Okay. Unsignificant incident it was. I am ready to craft only tier 1, but two haulers, so that's cool. I will wait for Gwen to get some sleep, then I will order her to build it. And we will see how it works. So from now on, Collins will be cleaning stuff. 
and I will have two holder robots and I hope it will speed up the work because I have lots of stuff see all around here I need those stones wood somewhere around here these stones here to you know reconstruct this and steel here so and some guns laying around so i need those haulers badly i have installed another mod adding more furniture because it was not enough for my taste link in the description below and it adds a couple pretty cool stuff wooden square plant pot very nice nothing like special right but it's really something good and couple cabinets and couches and you know stuff like this and i like those counters good for kitchen uh, okay let's get back to the robot okay almost done yes she's carrying one robot I hope he's not too. S it is not too slow, and I can install it. Of course, install. Oh, to the power line. Okay, here will be good. Adi, please. And let's see how it works. It doesn't need much power, from what I know. Jolt it. And, oh, <laughs> activate. Oh, what is this? This is like mini drone. Uh, that's cool. Where are you going, man? It's pretty freaking fast. That's, that's cool. Holding wood. See, this is great. Okay, and it has nice capacity or, or strength to, to, to carry stuff. That's great. And soon I will have another one. So, problem of hauling, I consider solved. It's just tier 1, because I need more stuff like, let me show you. To get even tier 2, I need basic logic. This 10,000 uh, time units to research, then 15,000, 20, 30. This is just like, oh my goodness. But I will get to it. But for now, this is so, so helpful. And another one. Although it's <laughs> almost not seen. Oh my goodness. Now this is something. A group of Yorkshire Terriers. Abandoned or lost have one. What? How many dogs? What? Guys, I have no room for you. My goodness, now I have to make like room for dogs. Now this is random. Couple of hours passed, so I thought that before I end this episode, I will give you a little tour of what I've built. Let's start from the captivation area, although I don't know if I will be using that. One way or another, there it is, concrete, nice bed spots and something to entertain prisoners. <laughs> Here are leftovers of ill. Now my freezer is super full because uh, it was a couple of manhunter packs of animals uh, on the way. It's not so interesting, so I didn't show it. But it left me with horrible, horrible amounts of meat. <laughs> now, of course, kitchen is uh, finished. I moved the kitchen, moved the um, uh, stove here and opened the door. So the temperature is stable. And the cook doesn't have... Actually, Artie is the cook. Uh, he doesn't have to run and wait for the doors to open. Uh, power doors, auto doors, or I call it power doors, I've installed in couple places. Also, my warehouse is super full. Power doors, auto doors, whatever you call it, 
I put nice metal tile in the crypt and already smoothed it out. Now this room will be for the next episode. I will just briefly tell you that I have installed comms console here, rebuilt the high-tech research bench. It will be very much useful, of course, robotics and normal, simple research bench. Last but definitely not least, as we always say, the hotel or well, there's one person captive here, but it's not finished yet. Although there's um, here, there's poker table and here's somewhere almost built uh, wood billiards table. And we wait for a cloth for cotton plant to make cloth and to cover that with carpet. Carpets red. I don't like that red. It's it's rather pink. In, on my monitor. Animals, well, let's say one terrier <laughs> is left. Uh, no, two, because, well, one was hungry. Oh well, I used the furniture from the Furniture Plus mod. It's awesome, link in the description below. Look, very nice, diverse. And we have Arlene here. She, I, I invited her to be guest, right? But she didn't want to as soon because she landed in a pod and she was a little hurt. So I took her to medical room. As soon as she got well, she wanted to leave the, uh, the map, the camp. <laughs> so Josie dragged her back. I made this and she stays here she has like 4.8 only resistance so she will be in our club soon and she will be cleaner too and maybe medical person and she has no skills at all i'm pretty much done i'm starting to shred the caves and mountains and hills but all that i will explain in the next episode and in the next episode we will review my goals for this season so I can finish the season and get to some point in the story of this playthrough. So I hope to see you in the next episode or in other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it. That's it for now. Bye.